Hey kids, it is Dad. It is a Monday. Had a great, great weekend. Holy cow. Went to uh, Blue Harbor Resort with the whole family. Got like a little villa. Went and spent uh, a lot of water parking, a lot of laughing, goofing around, running. Certainly a lot of, a lot of, a lot of water. Holy cow, a lot of water. I'm very, I'm very waterlogged after that, that weekend. But we just had a blast. Um, very, uh, uh, I'm on a, I'm on this new diet. I'm doing Nutrisystem, and we decided, uh, Becky and I decided that I, I was gonna do breakfast and lunch in, and then go out. Okay, that's cool. So, and and I went the whole weekend, and I did that. I did a little little walking. Uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, uh, got my got my 4,000 steps in for walking, 10,000 total, but 4,000 steps just for for the walk. And uh, I didn't gain any weight for the vacation, which is a big bonus. Boom. Uh, that's not what I want to talk to you about. So big scuttlebutt in the news about a, a issue that happened at Starbucks, where there was a pay it forward at a Starbucks and it went to 700 or no 373 people were part of this chain and then somebody the 374th person said I don't want to be a part of it I just want to pay for my coffee and go okay fair enough and there are a lot of people who are all upset at this one person who didn't want to participate okay so I'm reading the article and as I'm thinking about this whole thing, you know, if you think about the pay it forward thing, the pay it forward idea is you pay for yourself, then you pay for the person behind you. So if you're paying for someone, if someone's already paid for years and you're just going to pay for somebody behind you, are you really paying it forward or are you just shelling out the money that you would have shelled out to begin with? Hmm, worth thinking about. Okay, so last night we're at dinner. Clifford family dinner, had Drew in his jammies, set in the picture, June in his jammies, Mal and Clara, Tommy at the table, Emma there, just having a, having a gay old time with the, the, the whole fam family there. And uh, this gel elderly gentleman walks up and gives Drew a, uh, a wood, wood carved toy, a helicopter, had wheels on it, a little propeller. He signed it on the bottom, had like a little smiley face decoration on it. Just awesome. Awesome. Totally made with love. Totally made with love. And then we noticed that he was going around to all the kids in all the booths and tables giving them these wooden toys. I think, mean, wow, that's just awesome. And I noticed he had this red gym bag with him that just full to the brim with wooden toys. I thought, that's so cool. And Emma happened to be at the bathroom. Uh, and she goes, I didn't get a toy, I didn't get a toy. And he noticed that she came back and he came over and gave her a different one, a little bunny rabbit with, uh, with the ears and a, uh, a little piece of lettuce in its mouth and the whole thing. And I just thought that was so cool that here's this man, he's there with his wife, you could tell his wife and maybe his daughter, son-in-law, boyfriend, you know, kind of thing. And so, and, and they're there and, and the neatest thing happened, Tommy, you know, leans into the table and says, you know, we should buy their dinner. And you know what? We should have, and we did. And that was a great feeling to be able to do that. Um, you know, it's neat to do things for other people. And certainly he started it, but we're going to continue it on. And that was just something nice. And I hope, uh, I hope that gentleman uh, feels appreciated and knows the love that we had that Drew and Emma have for those toys because I know they went to sleep with that that uh, little wooden toy right next to them. So thank you very much. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Drew. <laughs> it was so great. We had such a great weekend. I love you guys so very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.